In this part of the training, I will show you how to create a free landing page for affiliate marketing on Google Sites. So this will cost you nothing and you will end up with the same exact landing page. And of course, you can put any video here. It doesn't have to be the same. Before I jump into it, and if you don't already have affiliate offers to promote, let me tell you that you can use the landing page we're about to build it to promote this free thank you page here that you can clone that I am sharing with you for free you can clone it in a few seconds and then you replace your affiliate links that are on the green buttons all over this thank you page here and if anyone clicks on the buttons and makes an upgrade or a purchase you will end up making a commission this thank you page is offering a free training video on how to do affiliate marketing and list building for 100% free. Uh, also, you will learn on this or you will offer on this free training how exactly you do to replace this affiliate links here. And also I included some promotion materials or promotion tools that you can use to promote your brand new funnel once you finish customizing the thank you page and also when you finish creating a landing page using Google Sites. Not forgetting that you will be actually building an email list absolutely for free. You will discover a, uh, a new software that you can use to build your email list and contact them anytime you want for 100% free. So anyone can duplicate this free thank you page by entering a simple code to his account and he will get the same copy of this thank you page. He will change the affiliate links and then build a landing page to collect emails and of course uh, make commissions on the back end if anyone upgrades or makes a purchase on the thank you page here. Now let's go ahead and create this landing page uh, on uh, Google Sites and you need to head to sites.google.com and you will be on a page like this. You might not see uh, anything here because I created a few websites here before and you want to click on this plus sign here to create a brand new landing page. So once I, I click on that button, I am right away redirected to the builder. So here are all the tools that we are going to be using. And I want to start from scratch. So what I want to do is remove everything that is here. Just click on the trash can here to remove and then give your site a name. So let's call it, for example, my free landing page all right so this is the name of my website my free landing page enter it will be the name will be reproduced here but we don't want it to appear on the page i want to remove this name here so the page now is completely uh, empty there's nothing on it and i will start putting objects on the page right now Second thing you want to do is uh, choose for your landing page a theme. So I like to click on themes here and then choose this one here that says impression. It's a good looking one. And then if you put a title, for example, it will look just like this. And then you can choose the color that you prefer. So once I do this, I just come back to insert here and I want to start inserting the object. And the first thing I have on my landing page, as you can see, here is the big headline so I want to select my big headline and copy it since I already made it before and then get back to the builder and insert this object here that says text and then you want to get to this list here and choose a title so I want now to control V to paste the headline I took from the other page and now I got my headline 
made. You can of course change the color here if you uh, want to use another color. You just select the text and click on this little button here and choose any color you want. So since I created it, everything in red, let me just continue with the red. So what I want to do next is I want to put a divider just like this one. It's very easy. So you come here on the right hand side and you click on divider and it will place itself right here. As you can see here, the third thing that I want to insert is the video where you have the choice. You can put a big banner or another text here. I want to uh, put this time a YouTube video on the landing page. So what I want to do first is grab the YouTube video link. So the YouTube video I'm going to use is this one here. So I'm going to grab the link from YouTube and then come back to my builder. And I'm searching for video on the right hand side. And as you can see here, I have an icon that says YouTube, click on it. And then it's asking me to search for a video. I'm going to give him the link for that video and it will appear right away here. All I have to do is click on it and then click select. And now you can of course resize the video and then move it along the page but you need to just respect the aspect ratio of the video so you don't lose any parts of the video. That's too big. Let me do this a little bit more. All right. I think it's good like this. Just give it a little bit more height and it looks good like this. So what I want to do now, I want to publish in order for me to not lose my uh, my work. So it says my free landing page with the uh, dashes inside. This is the uh, web address after Google Sites. So your URL will be sites.google.com slash view slash my free landing page. And then I click on publish. And now my page is published and I can preview it. Click in this button click in view published website and now here is exactly how my landing page looks like and i will continue putting the other object by going back to the builder here now on the original page i have this uh, subheadline here that says start building your funnel to make uh, commissions i will just copy this text here and i will go back to my builder and insert a text um, field and I will just uh, choose the heading and then I want to control V and paste that sub headline. Of course you can um, give it more size if you want to make it bigger but I think the size now is good like this. Now here is a very important thing. You are allowed to reproduce whatever we're doing here. And then you want to build your email list before sending your prospects to the thank you page because like that you will be able to keep in touch with, the, with them in the future and work with them. So what we want to do now is grab the opt-in form so that people can insert their email address and uh, uh, after that they get to the thank you page but they will be inserted into your email list so that you can contact them later. And here is exactly the HTML code for the opt-in form that you can see here on the original page. This opt-in form is the same thing as this um, HTML code. Now, where did I get this? I mean, if you follow the training that is on the thank you page here, it says this video here says free email list. So on this video, you will learn exactly how to set up a free email list and then uh, make an opt in form and get the HTML code and put it on any landing page you want. So you'll have to watch this video to get all the details about this HTML code. So let me copy the code for the opt-in form control C and then I want to get back to the builder and once here I have this but this uh, option here where I can embed the code so I click on it 
and then you have two options by URL or by code so I will use the code and then paste my code right here and then click on insert and as you can see the opt-in form appears right away and then I click insert and then I will just I mean arrange the opt-in form to fit my design and then I will give it a little bit of space like this so I have the uh, email address field and the button to click let me publish so this is before and this is after I can check and then oh okay so I have I have to give it a little bit more space so but let me publish first and then I will give it a little bit more space I don't want to see that uh, scrolling bar at the right hand side and I don't see it now so I just publish and then I will take a look at my page and see how it looks like so click on view published website and then I have my headline divider video subheadline and I have the opt-in form anyone who enters his email address here clicks the button he will go to my thank you page to get the training but he will uh, also be inserted to my email list so I can contact him later now on my page I want to put another divider and then an affiliate disclaimer so I'm just going to copy this text here get back to the builder I want a divider first so I'm going to click on this one and I have my divider let let me just arrange it a little bit like this and then I want another text area where I can this is a normal text I'm going just to paste that affiliate disclaimer here and then publish and I will check the changes so this is before this is after and the text is here publish the website and preview it one more time and see what it gives us all right so my landing page is done a big headline free landing pages for list building the video explaining subheadline and then this is a call to action actually because I start building your free funnel to make commissions people will insert their email address if they are interested and click on the button to receive the training okay another thing that you want to do with your free landing page is uh, you see the difference here my original landing page has a five icon that is different than this this is uh, Google's so what you want to do actually is go to the settings here and then click on the brand images and here where it says a five icon you need to upload a picture so you can choose any picture on your computer let's say for example this one here and I want to uh, to see this one here appearing at the top of the tab here so I'm going to publish one more time uh, to so that the changes will have effect and then of course I will preview it and see if that picture is on the tab and yes you can see here that there is a yellow thing here which is the five icon we just made let's go back to the builder and then grab the link to my landing page so this is exactly the link to your uh, free landing page it says sites.google.com slash view slash my free landing page you can remove this part here that says home because it's only one page let me put it on a new tab and then remove home so this is the URL and here is exactly your landing page all right so this was it guys I hope this training is useful for you and uh, if you have any questions please contact me or leave me some comments below don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and I will see you on my next video cheers